club, there's gonna be some painting and drawing Art club, there's gonna be some painting and drawing Some of the time we might do drawing and painting But most of the time we will do painting and drawing Grab a pencil, grab a brush, we're about to do Art club! Hello everyone and welcome. We've got a really cool episode for you today. Hopefully you're going to find it really useful, especially with Mother's Day coming up. So if you are watching this before the 14th of March, which is a Sunday, then this should be really useful for making a Mother's Day card. If you are watching this at any other time, then you can use the same principles that we're learning today to make a card for your favorite teacher or for your best friend's birthday or for Father's Day, whenever that is. I think that's in, is it July? I, I don't know, I really don't know. But you can use this technique for making a card for anybody. So it doesn't have to be Mother's Day, but it just so happens that this coming Sunday, if you're watching it, the week that this goes out is going to be Mother's Day. Anyway, before we get onto it, I'm going to do my usual bit about please, if you haven't, do click subscribe. Also click the thumbs up, click the like button because apparently that means that more people get to watch Art Club. Also, make sure you share all of your artwork with me using the hashtag OlafArt. Also, mums and dads, if you would like to thank me in a financial way for my art club, I do have a little tip jar thing called coffee. Basically, you can give me the price of a coffee or 10 coffees or whatever. And I am using those to buy coffees, but I am also using them to buy art equipment. And I've also, you might notice, I'm wearing this fancy microphone, which hopefully will improve the audio of my videos. So if you want to do that, you don't have to, you can just share Art Club and tell people about it and click like and subscribe. But if you do want to, there is a link underneath in the description where you can go to a website called Coffee and you can buy me a coffee. You don't have to do that, of course, but if you do, I get a little ping on my phone every time someone buys me a coffee and that makes me happy. So if you do want to do that, great. If you don't, please just click share, subscribe, like, all of those things. Anyway, enough of that. Here's what your card will look like when it's finished. To mum. I love you more than the bouncing bum. Let's get on with this. What you will need is a sheet of paper, an A4 sheet of paper like this. And we're gonna do a bit of folding to begin with. We're actually gonna fold it into quarters. So we'll fold it in half that way. There we go. And then we'll fold it again that way. Try and keep it nice and neat so the edges touch. And that is going to be our card and we are going to do our drawing on this side here and then we're going to do a little pop-up bit in the middle and the pop-up bit will mean we need to do a little cut there so i'm going to get my scissors always be careful with scissors he says and i'm going to fold my paper that way and i'm going to make my cut around about there so around about here a couple of centimeters in from the middle and make it roughly like that couple of centimeters is that I mean that's a couple of centimeters I think yeah that looks it and then what we do is this bit here we fold up like so this is a bit like actually the um, you might remember we made a card I can't remember what episode it was but it had the sausage bird on it like this I don't know if you remember that it's a bit like that it's the same kind of technique so open that out now and that will need to kind of, when you close it, that bit will need to flip forward. I mean, it's quite fiddly, quite tricky, but if you get it right, it should come on. Can you see what I'm doing there? I'm just trying to make it. There we go. And we are gonna stick our bouncing bum to that. You don't have to do a bouncing bum if you're not really that into art club, if you're just new to it and you don't really know about the legend of the bouncing bum, you don't have to do that. It can just be a simple Mother's Day card with a lovely message on the inside. But I know that my mum would appreciate a bouncing bum in her card, so that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, that's enough of that. We are now going to do the drawing of, I'm gonna do a drawing of my mum, but you will be doing a drawing of your mum's. So we'll do that on the front here. And this is from, I don't know if you remember, we did a character design kind of thing in Art Club episode 12. So if you want to re-look at that, you don't have to re-look at it because I'm going to show you what to do, but if you want to see it in a bit more depth, we made some of these characters. 
And if you want to see that, go to Art Club episode 12. And I think it might have been the second thing we did on that Art Club. Uh, but we're going to do that. But instead of drawing some young kids, like I think we did in episode 12, we're going to draw our mums. Now, I'm going to need my pencil. Where's my pencil? Ah, there it is. And I do this in pencil. I'll probably need a rubber as well. I do this in pencil so I can rub it out afterwards. So I'm going to start with a circle, not too big, because I'm going to be doing a bit of writing above and below. And then I do a little rectangle. That's going to be my mum's body. So that's the head, that's the body. I do two legs. Again, not too long, because I want to write something underneath. Her feet are just going to be these triangular shapes. One, two. Now, just curve that around a bit. Rub that out. Just curve it around. That's the good thing about doing it in pencil. If you do do a mistake, you can rub it out. I will be going over it with a black pen after I've colored it in. Now for the arms, because hands can be quite tricky, I'm going to do the arms curving like this. So it looks like she's either got her hands behind her back or her hands in her pocket. So one there and one there. I mean, that way we don't have to draw those pesky hands. Now that is your basic template. All you need to do now is add some detail. So I'm going to draw a nose. And my mum's hair, I'm going to rub away the top half of that circle. Because she's got a bit of a kind of a fringe thing going on. And it'll kind of go like, sort of like that. Now you're doing whatever your mum looks like. so. You don't have to copy mine. I'm going to draw one eye there and one eye there. And I'll give her some eyelashes. Three little lines like that off each eye. And she likes to wear lipstick, so I will do some kind of lip lips. Rather than just a little smile for the mouth, I'll do some actual lips. With a line in the middle. And the rest of her hair is kind of... I mean, I hope I'm getting this right. I've not got a picture of my mum in front of me, so... I mean, I hope this is right. Kind of goes around the back like that. And I'm going to do a bow in her hair because she'll sometimes wear like a thing in her hair. And probably just do a couple of lines. For her clothes, she's probably just wearing some kind of blue trousers and some red shoes. I might do a thin little kind of sole the layer underneath the shoes and I'll do a cardigan so a line there and a line there and some buttons on her cardigan one two big buttons she likes to knit my mum does so I will uh, I'll do a, a couple of balls of wool I think just by her feet that would be good before I do that though I'll put like a necklace on there we go and like I say I'll do a oh I nearly forgot her glasses. <laughs> she won't be able to read without those. So one there, one there, all the way across like that, and like that. And I mean, she'll be wearing her glasses if she's doing her knitting. So to do the knitting wool, I do a ball like that with a few lines going that way, and then the rest of the lines going that way. And that's one ball of wool and I'll tuck another ball of wool behind. So whatever your mum likes to do, perhaps you could kind of accessorize yours a bit. And I'll do some knitting needles just sticking out the top. So one there and one there. And now you get to color it in. I'll probably put that in fast forward. I've got all of my, let's get my felt tips here. Ooh. I'll put that in fast forward.
And there you go, that is my mum drawn on the front. I'm just gonna add a bit of a message and my message is gonna say, to mum, I love you more than, and then when we open it up on this pop-up bit here, we are gonna have a bouncing bum. So to do the bouncing bum first, actually, what I'll do is grab a scrap of paper and your bouncing bum needs to be no wider than this side of your sheet of paper. And I'm quite good at drawing bouncing bums. I'll show you how you do a kind of curve that goes up like that. And then another one that kind of goes like that. You can do a little bit there if you like. And then you do a bit of shading around this side to make it look round. And then a little bit of shading here. And what I might do is get one of my pens and, oh, I've got a pen here. just to give it a bit of a thicker outline so it stands out a bit more. So that's gonna be my bouncing bum. Make the shading go a bit darker around here. And if you go over the edge like I'm doing, we are gonna be cutting this out. Shouldn't matter too much. So get your scissors again and try and cut out the bouncing bun nice and neatly. What I might do once I've cut this out is re outline it because I think I might be cutting away some of the outline here but we'll have a look nearly there last bit so yeah if I put that down there you can see it might just need a little bit more of an outline in a few places just to make our bum stand out a bit. Now I need my glue stick. Let's put that bit out of the way. Glue stick, that'll do. And I'm gonna stick my bouncing bum to that little bit there, that kind of little triangle bit there, it's gonna stick to, and so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the corner of that bouncing bum, just there. Hopefully that'll be enough just to keep it. There you go. So when you open and close it, it should kind of ping up like that. And then what I'm also gonna do is some bouncing lines and then do a little shadow sort of a roundabout there so when it does open it looks like it's gone boing i mean i could even add the word boing um, uh, no i won't do it I, will I, ooh, I might do i'll see how it goes i'm going to write the words on the front and the back first and then i'll see so the words on the front and the back you can do those however you like i think i'm going to use some of my colors uh, what colour shall I use? I'll use the green, because then that'll kind of pick out her green cardigan. So it will say, to mum. And I will start here. To mum. And you might know by now that I like to do the writing where I make that line slightly thicker on each letter. So the line that is on the left, I just make it slightly thicker. to mum, and then I'm gonna write here, I love you more than, so I'm gonna to have to be quite small with my writing here to fit it in, so this is always tricky. Uh, I love you more than, I'm gonna go with the black one as well because it's a smaller pen. I love you 
you more. Am I going to run out? Oh no. I love you more than. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Nearly ran out of space. To mum, I love you more than. And then when we open it up, we've got the bouncing bum and I'll write the bouncing bum here and I'll do that in a different color. Let's do that in the purple. And I'm gonna write the bound sing bomb and an exclamation mark. Let's make sure that's dry before I close it up. And there you go. That is your finished Mother's Day card. Look, to mum, I love you more than the bouncing bum. Isn't that good? Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be a Mother's Day card. You can do this and it doesn't have to be a bouncing bum either. It doesn't have to be pop-up. You can just draw whoever you want on the front. It can be your best friend. It can be your dad, your favorite teacher, uncle, grandma, anybody. Just have lots of fun, whoever you draw. If you do draw a Mother's Day card, make sure you do share them with me using the hashtag Olaf Art. There you go, isn't that great? I kind of like that. I think my mum will like it too. Anyway, that is all for today. Please do remember to click subscribe if you haven't. Please remember to click like so lots of other people get to see it. Make sure you share this video with anyone who you think would like it. If, mums and dads, you would like to buy me a coffee, it's like a special way of tipping me if you've enjoyed the stuff that I do, then there is a website called Coffee. I mentioned it at the beginning and I'm mentioning it again. If you would like to do that, the link is in the description to this video. Otherwise, please do keep watching Art Club videos and I'll see you again next time. Bye.